We are prepared um, for a 2024 in which we will take full advantage of the liquidity we do have. We have substantial cash reserves. We have, uh, we have forward equity that we can call on, and we have a very big re revolver facility that we can call on. But whatever capital we deploy in 2024, we will do so very carefully because we know that the window may or may not be open to obtain more capital. Joining me today is Ed Batoniak, CEO of Vici Properties. So Ed, what are some of your priorities for Vici as you look ahead to 2024? Uh, I would say, Sarah, um, most of all, being ready for anything and everything, because it's so hard to understand or know at this point exactly how 2024 has unfolded, given how 2023 has unfolded, uh, both in the equity and moreover the credit markets. And we can look at a day like yesterday when uh, inflation came in very positively and the market responded very well, the 10-year tightened you know, by 20 basis points on its yield, but we don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. So we really go into 2024 making sure we're ready for anything. Uh, in terms of whatever investment activity we might do, whatever liquidity we need to preserve, and, uh, and being ready for any refinancings that might come in 2024 and beyond. And building on that, how is Vici positioned to cope with ongoing market financing challenges and how are broader macro um, issues impacting our overall strategy? Yeah, so you know we've, we've enjoyed over our first five to six years uh, really strong access to capital, both equity and credit. Uh, obviously, everybody's access to equity and credit has tightened, especially over the last year. So, you know, we are prepared um, for a 2024 in which we will take full advantage of the liquidity we do have. We have substantial cash reserves. We have, uh, we have forward equity that we can call on, and we have a very big re revolver facility that we can call on. But whatever capital we deploy in 2024, we will do so very carefully because we know that the window may or may not be open to obtain more capital. And are there certain things that you feel Vici is doing particularly well today or that you're personally proud of? I would say most of all, developing the relationships we've developed with great experiential operators, whether that be MGM, Caesars, Canyon Ranch, and Cabot, and others, and now Bolero, uh, as we most recently announced a couple of weeks ago. Those relationships have given us access to obviously great real estate assets. Uh, in particular, obviously, it's given us great access to Las Vegas, where we own 10 assets. And you know, as we're seeing literally uh, hour by hour right now as everybody gets excited about the debut of F1 uh, tomorrow in Las Vegas, Las Vegas is the epicenter of global entertainment right now, whether it be the Sphere, whether it be Adele's residency, whether it be F1, whether it be the Super Bowl in January, whether it be the NBA Final Four in-season tournament here in December, uh, we, we are really glad to have the investment that we have in Las Vegas.